find Katie's questions about it. Um, so, does the request follow the intent? In, um, Nice enough to do this. Basically, your question was, is it a um, town project or is it on private property? And according to them, it's a it's a town issue causing a flood in their land, um, which is sort of what happens a lot of times when you live halfway down a hill. Um, we've had some issues with that as well, and so we. In we being my husband actually talked to them too just because he knows a lot about drainage encourage them to um talk to the roads crew first because mm -hmm. they're so reasonable and helpful like sometimes you can just say hey i'm having this issue could you grade it a little differently yeah so they have a, a sluice pipe that's like sending water that's coming down the road through their land and i think that the former people who live there tony thought of it as a brook through her land, perhaps. Like, didn't mind it, but they see it as, like, not a brook, but a water issue that's being dumped onto their land, is what my interpretation of what they said was. Um, so, I think that with this application, I'd like to say, you know, obviously we'll pass it forward, but that we'll hold while they try to work this out. One, with the town crew and then two I suggested going to a select board meeting if that solution doesn't work mm -hmm. um, to express the concerns and you know that the um, foreman is always at the meetings for for the you know the roads crew manager is always at the meetings and they he could ask him directly so I think that I want to hold personally on ARPA money on this while some of those things are worked out yeah because it's, it's a little bit debatable about whether or not this is in, yeah, and in either way, it's, it's either the roads crew needs to put this in or they need to do it privately and then it starts a whole can of worms around, you know, p other people who have stormwater. Well, that's just it, because they're not the only ones who have this issue. And yeah. if we were going to start fixing that for these guys, then... Well, if the town's grading the road so that it's going down onto the land, maybe they need to grade um, it. Different. They're grading it at the end of our road. Is the end of my driveway is completely washed out because they don't grade it properly. And they're plugging, the way they're grading is plugging all the uh, drainage. Culverts? What's, what's culverts. my word? Culverts. Thank you. Um, so the culvert, like under our driveway, is yeah. obviously very blocked because the road now is washing out the top of our yeah. driveway. So yeah, I get yeah, it. That was our issue for a long time too: is the washouts, and you spend all day like trying to put the trying to, and it's it's a it's a clogged culvert. Right. So so that's, that's, yeah. so that's that's something I feel like is legit, but needs to be brought up with the crew and see where they can get with that. Um, as far as the outdoor gathering pavilion. So that's Michael Gray's submission for a pavilion that goes mm -hmm. on the property here, which is owned by the school, I found out. So the school is owned by the town, but the property is owned by the school. Some, I believe I have that right. Um, so it's this project is town would be an outdoor gathering pavilion. It's been on the planning stages for over a year. A committee was formed. Um, so this, according to Katie, would be money given to the school. So this is just what I want to send along to so the select board. I think they probably already aware of where the money would go, but to the school and the school would then earmark it for this project if it was approved by the select board. So that's my understanding of what happens with that application. So if they want to do it, money would need to go to the school, and then the school, or the OSSU, and then the school would then disperse it for this project. So is the school going to own it, or can anybody use it? So then the school would own it. 
I think it's it's ha it's still really hairy territory, and, I, and it, yeah. it needs to be worked out. I think Peter Peltz, who's you know the head of the select board, is a part of this group that's also yes, interested yes. in this and knows well how complicated the school OSSU land building situation is. So I think that they can kind of work that out. But my understanding is, you know, the money can't be given to this committee. So far, the committee has gathered funding of $30,000. How I much think do they, they need? They're, uh, they're asking for another 15 for a total of 45. The estimated expense for materials is 45,000. So far, the committee has gathered funding of approximately 30,000, and the committee is requesting 15,000 from Woodbury's ARPA funds to reach its goal necessarily for just acquiring the materials. So I think it's, I mean, this whatever. in turn would allow time volunteers to begin work on the project this summer with the ideal goal of completion by, I wish they had listened to Kevin 12 years ago when he brought this to them, but it was a bad idea when it was ours. So, so I'm just sad with the whole thing, but it's yeah. I and I think that the intention would be that it, the townspeople could like rent it also if they wanted to have an event or if the like someone was coming from the you know wanted to do a teaching on the water you know foul or whatever. Um, so I think it's not meant just for the school; it would be meant for the community as well. So I think someone the, would have to work that out. Talk about what size it is. Yeah, there's there's actually all kinds of there is actually blueprints and yeah. some shit. Yeah. Stuff. Thirty-seven by twenty-eight and a half, maybe. So projects that are like considered town projects, for example, like the weatherizing uh, well, look, I'm sorry, you guys are still looking at that. We can So I mean keep going. Fifteen grand, and the volunteers are going to build it. Well, I don't really. Th I mean, j just in, with all due respect, Heather, I don't think we need to figure out for yeah. ourselves whether we like this plan or not. Uh, we just need to know <clears throat> where it fits to give it to the select board, and then they can decide. I mean, certainly we could weigh in with whoever has an opinion from our group, but we don't. I don't think we need to weigh in about how we feel the money should be spent necessarily. I think we need to say, is it ARPA? friendly and I think it is ARPA friendly and just insofar as like outdoor learning is mm -hmm. less time where germs are being spread inside the classroom so I think that it falls under COVID um, whether or not you know their project is and I think it yeah, says yeah. something that they've earned thirty thousand dollars already like that it's already got momentum yeah. mm -hmm. so us I don't know. I'm not going to weigh in. I'm just going to say Send it. Oh. they can, you know, the select board can figure out whether or not that that's how they want to spend their money. But um, the, the, the projects that are specifically town related, like the weatherizing the town hall, that's easy under ARPA because town projects are like, you can, that's allowed. Is my understanding. I'm, I'm speaking as if I'm some kind of expert, expert, but I'm really just like reading what's on the website and talking as much as I can with Katie about. So if we go along that vein, then the town's just going to get it all because they've asked for thirty thousand for maintenance and weatherization. They've asked for six thousand seven hundred for insulation to reduce the heating cost. Not to increase the tax rate, six thousand seven hundred sixty-one dollars. They're asking for twenty-five thousand dollars for digitizing land records. They're asking for doesn't even say for the town hall Wi-Fi that's already in the works. The another nineteen hundred, almost two for funds already spent. There's another two for owl meetings, so we'll set up. I mean, they've already asked for everything that we're gonna get. So I mean, I don't, of, I don't know for sure if when the town's clerk's office asks for something that the select board will say yes. I mean, that's not, those two people aren't necessarily on the same and, page. And, they, and, and the select board may decide to put some of this in the budget. I mean, just give them all the, the applications and yep. let them. Now, the one I don't totally understand is the road crew one. The road is, crew. Who put, is the, that? A townsperson putting that in? Yeah, so I don't, I personally feel like the road crew ones that we can put it in a package and say people are interested in fixing the roads, but they're not legitimate 
their what Katie says, their opinions and yeah. not applications. Right. So people sort of misunderstood the yeah. process a little bit. Um, but I think it's worth just send, sending it forward and being like, people want the roads fixed, but not, it's not a legitimate opera application. Right. right. Um, the friends of WES1 um, asking for money to reimburse for uh, money lost through COVID times because they couldn't do the fundraisers. That has to go to, I think the friends of WES understand this, but it goes to the school. And then the school earmarks it for them, and then they can get it from there. So if the if the select board decides to do that one, that's how the money goes on that one, um, because because they're not a nonprofit. The whole idea. Katie had a lot of questions about whether or not organizations were nonprofit, and I can't figure out what the what the ramifications are if they are versus they aren't a nonprofit. Well, my. My guess it would be being a nonprofit means you have a checking account and a checkbook, so you have an entity to give the money to. Right. And the W doesn't sound like the WES does not have a bank no, account. No, the friends of WES do not. And they so not they can't. Yeah. So they can't receive it. They can't. They can't mm -hmm. receive it. Um, friends of WES don't. They used to have a checkbook. Yeah, well, the OSCC decided after you left that the, they could no longer have a checkbook, and they took over all the funding. So everything, all, all receipts have to go to them, and then they have to send you a check. Um, so yeah, so it says, in a ex tax-exempt organization that benefits veterans, if the town wants to fund organizations that are not 501c3 or 501c19, then they are. there are ways to do this, but it will require moving the ARPA money through your general ledger in a different way, swapping ARPA into the operating budget to free up general funds that can be used instead of ARPA direct funding. Got it? You got that, right? You can teach that back to me. I understand what's going on. <laughs> you yeah. probably understand it better than I do. Before this approach is taken, I would recommend the town treasurer, or whoever handles the finances of the town, talk with Sarah Macy at VLCT's government finance specialist for her assistance with this transaction. It is my understanding that the select board has gone that route on March 20th. They've held a meeting warning. I move that the town of Woodbury shall make a one-time irrevocable decision to elect the standard allowance approach. Blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, it's all about the money being moved from one entity to another entity. Mm -hmm. If you're not Explain a C3, me. you're not an entity, so you can't. You know, if you're, if you're just a group of people, one person is going to have to run it through their checking account, and that's not okay when you're talking about taxes. So that brings us to the fire department, which is a, they are not a nonprofit. A court, they're not a 501C. I thought they were a 501C3. So, so Paul Cerruti wrote back to me when okay. I asked him, and he said, drum roll, please. And then when I wrote to Katie, her answer was was a lot, and she said, I need to speak with, it would be best for us to all speak together with the select board and the fire department and work this out because it's complicated, was her answer. So that was something that I was trying to get together, like select board met on Monday, I was hoping maybe she could be there. So what did there. Paul say they were? So Paul said, which email did I The fire department is a private nonprofit and has a 501c4 tax exempt status. But that they're a nonprofit. But she said if when I told her that it was a 501c4, she said, well that's more complicated. Let me see if I can find her. Well, it, It is. I mean, the primary difference that I know of between the C3 and the C4 is a C4 can do a lot more lobbying than a C3 can. Uh -huh. And if I want to donate money to a C3, I, I can get a paper from them and I can send to my tax people I donated to a C3. If I donate to a C4, I, 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 you can't have a tax exemption from mm -hmm. a C4. So those are the differences I know between the two. Okay. But the town of Woodbury gets the fire department money all the time, so right. I'm, I'm sure there's a way to do it. And I don't think we have to figure it out. I think the select board probably right. knows right. how to do that. 
Well, I just, I don't feel like I want to send this forward without having some kind of answer that I attach to it. Because I'm not going to assume that Brandy knows how to do this or that the select board does. Because they're, they've asked the ARPA committee to figure this stuff out for them. They asked us so. to figure out how money change hands? No, but how, whether or not it follows the ARPA guidelines. And so if it... It obviously does. Because yeah. a lot of fire departments are getting money through ARPA. I don't see that Woodbury's fire department. Sure. I say pass pass this application to the select board and we're done with that. Yeah, and I will. I, I would like to, you know, with everyone's permission, get the answer from Katie and, and conne if, if, connect the select board with Katie so that we hand it over saying not like, here's your application and it's cool to go through. It's here's the application, it's cool to go through, but you have to take this route. Because I absolutely think that it can go through. It's just a matter of how. And I'd like to know that from Katie before we pass it forward, just so nobody bills anything the wrong way. Because if Brandy puts it in the wrong way, then the town is, you know, on the hook. Yeah. So, um, and I don't mind doing that work. Um, yeah, so I wrote back that the fire department is nonprofit, 501c4 status, they are fully voluntary. And then she wrote, ARPA regs define nonprofits as a 501c3 organization. If the town would like to fund the fire department, then there's a workaround to do this. If funding the fire department is a prioritized use of funds, she didn't put that in capital, but I'm wondering if that's like a ca capitalized prioritized mm -hmm. use of funds mm -hmm. category, then we can discuss it further and with you and or the select board. So there's more to it, but we need, so we, I feel like we need to figure that out for, you know, or help them figure it out or point them in the direction of who to speak to, to figure it out because I'd like it to happen personally. I think the fire department should get some money, but it, we, I don't want them to do it in, the, in a way that ends up getting clawed back later. So that's, that's my argument on that. Um, CV fiber. What did she say about CV fiber? I feel like there wasn't. She didn't really say anything about that one. I think because there. I don't know. She didn't really get an answer about CV fiber. That's another one I need to go back to her and ask her about. Like what's the right here from the Woodbury Planning Commission CV fiber. Yeah, I'm just wondering what from a Katie perspective if this if there's any um, any issues with that? I don't think she even commented on it. On I gave her the list, and I don't believe she even put a comment about CV fiber. So maybe it's just like, you know, if the town wants to do it, they do can do it. Do you know how many people in town don't have access to it? They did a really good um, presentation at one of the select board meetings, and I can try and figure out which select board meeting that was, and it would be on the mm -hmm. Hardwick um, television. Um, they talked about the percentage, and I wrote it down in my notebook, but on my notebook here, of people they consider underserved. Mm -hmm. So people who have slow internet or no internet. And it was, it was something along the lines, don't quote me, like 85% of the town hmm. that have are considered underserved by their definition. Hmm. Does mm -hmm. that include West Woodbury? Well, yeah, I think it's the whole town, right? So, and they maybe, maybe they even say well, you're not on the Route 14 corridor. You have it. How's your internet out where you are? I don't have any complaints about it. Right, and you're not on the Route 14 corridor. Yeah, I don't. You're very far off the I corridor. Don't know. I'm not. 85%, I mean, percent, that's I, a big I, number. I don't actually. Yeah, I just I don't. To get them all Starlink can be done with it. Yeah. <laughs> what do I know? Um, I, yeah, the, their funding comes from. There are 782 addresses listed by public service department in the town of Woodbury, of which no address has 100, over 100 service for internet speed. Currently, there is no fiber in the town at all. Um, about of the town's population has 100 over 20 service. And so... About half of the population. Okay. You're talking about a flow down the speed, I think, right? Oh, this is actually, this actually goes through what was talked about at that meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and because it says, Laura Murphy asked the question, how the organization would ensure that Woodbury's ARPA funds, if some of the money were given to the CV5, it would be um, prioritized, you know, used, allocated to the town, not used outside the town. 
Jerry responded that any dollar that isn't needed to be borrowed as a savings to the subscribers, that they will be allocating town funds to subsidize the installment in that specific town. Money would stay in the town. It would be a direct benefit to the subscriber. So, if you want to read more about that, no, I'm, I'm, it's I'm on there. I'm just, you know, technology's marching on. I know. Startup is huge. If it can help in Start Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. So, so let's put up more fiber. Yeah. Moving on. So they were you talking about satellites? Is that what you were mm -hmm. talking about? So I asked the question about satellites. I feel like you answered my question. Um, they said that it's not efficient, that it doesn't work in our area. Um, and that it's actually less environmentally sound to do it that way. Um, it's just, it's not feasible, really, to do satellites. And my son has it in Walden. That's what they said. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't have, like I said, I don't have a dog. dog all I know there, is my friend's off have... of Route 14 almost. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I don't. I don't have to make this decision. Uh, I don't either. Me neither. Because <laughs> they wouldn't get a penny of it if it were up to me. So, Elizabeth Stratton's request for the... For the tent, mm -hmm. the question is like, who would order it? Who would manage it? Um, so that, for that to be a viable application, it needs to be entered by the town. So if the town wants it and they want to manage it, then the town has to submit an application for it. So maybe they could try on the next round, but it's not going to fly on this round unless the town says we'll hop aboard and and support that application. Um, some of these are just people saying, hey, could we try this? Uh, I, there was an application, I don't know if you guys read, about the woman who was interested in, Tara sent it, in farm stance for her business. Did you read that? Okay, so let me, let me see if I can find Tara's message about that. She sent along the application, and it was... Um, I think I have two percent on my phone. Bless you. Oh, bless you. I'm unfortunately going between two email accounts, so I lose things. It's easier for me to use my personal email account than use the Gmail. Yeah. And so I end up defaulting to that when I'm like, it's late and I'm too tired to use my Gmail account. Um, So these, this was one of the applications that Tara had those two weeks when she was away and that we were, I was looking for, you know, I was hounding everybody and asking them to check their piles to see if they had one of the applications and Tara found it in her stack. When was the date today? 25th. This is what I don't like Gmail because I can't find things in my Gmail. Like it, I go back and I can't see the whole. I hate doing email on phones. Expand all. Maybe that's <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Here it is. So the application says, I am asking for 20000 to help expand my farm stand business. The old horseshoe. This money could help me bring my generational orchard back from neglectful prior owners. Would be able to bump up my sugar lot and tap many more trees. It would help me expand my chicken runs and coops and increase my organic egg production. I would also use funds to grow my baked goods and herbal remedies. I sell in my farm stand. I would like two more roadside farm stands in surrounding towns and have the opportunity. Now I would like to like this come about by spring of 2023. And Katie wrote back, she had a lot of questions about like, um, 
She also needs farming equipment and all that. So Katie's questions for this person was, you know, that, that she would need to give a lot of specs about much more detail about how this money is going to be set, spent. You know, one way you can do it is say, you can have the money, give us the receipts, and then, you know what I mean? Like, the, so the select board could say, give us the receipt for the farm stand and we will allocate the money as it come, as the receipts come in rather than just handing someone a chunk of money. Um, but Katie's concern was also, you know, does the town want to set a precedent of... It sounded like a great business plan. Yeah. It sounds really neat, and I feel like if written differently could be a COVID-related because it's... Because it's it's real that we need to grow our, you know, vegetables in yeah. our, yeah. you know, society. But I feel like because it's a private business and she didn't specifically say why it was affected by COVID. Right. I don't, I'm having a hard time making the leap of, you know, mm -hmm. what if I want to like make earrings for, you know, and I just want like beads from the town. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, be, I'm not belittling this. No, yeah. no, not at all. But, um, but you know, I, I'm set up, there's, uh, sure, I want all the same thing. Yeah. I want to build all the same business. You know, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it just seems like. But you know, you know the answer is no if you don't ask. Right. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Right. That's a hundred percent. So I would say if she wants to try to resubmit this, I mean, I, and I'm happy to call her and just say, Hey, this was interesting. We, you would need to get together all sorts of information and you still might not get the money, but, um, and you need to, I feel like, and it's not actually, I don't know how much it's defined, but I still feel like some of these things other than the town ones that apparently go through without the COVID piece to it. I feel like if somebody wants money for a private business, they would need to say, I've lost all of this money because my business suffered during COVID. Right. And that is and not And also written. add to that how this money would benefit the town. Yeah. Like giving them right. Money. Right. Because the making farm stands well, we in other towns. Yeah, right. Because right. Mm -hmm. why, why, why are we supporting you to... I mean, you know, I think it'd be a pretty cool idea if, you know, again, we, we're all too busy to do much of anything mm -hmm. more. But, you know, the town of Woodbury, I mean, we've got a lot of land that you can grow food on. If you mm. had some kind of a project going on to say, the town needs to grow food. Yeah. That would be cool. But uh, And that makes us more har hazard prepared, you know, for who whatever happens down the road in terms of, mm -hmm. you know, it's the country. It's how farming communities used to be. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a neat idea. I feel like, and if if you guys are in agreement that I'll call her and just tell Get her that yeah I don't think on this round that that is a viable application because it's not enough information and we would need to have that information sooner than she could get it to us to get this moving so yeah. um what else so that's the fire department is it some a lot of these applications are just the like Fix my roads, road, fix my roads, yeah. fix the driveway at the elementary school. Yeah, all good ideas, but so. Um, any chance for the center of Woodbury to grow a sewer disposal area is needed. Pumping station. What? Are we talking about campers having a place to, to pump out their tanks? Oh. Campers? Um, RVs? Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, number one, so the amount requested is what is needed. To be sure, our fire and rescue is funded adequately for the town's needs. Number two, be sure to fund for areas of recreation for our aging community. Number three, for any chance for the center of Woodbury to grow a sewer disposal area is needed. Pumping station to upper mound system. Hmm. You know. It sounds like they want a place for someone to plug in and dispose of weights. Yeah. Which is better than doing it un unofficially. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hire some new help for the road crew. Oh. Too bad we just lost our best road crew guy. Who are those? Peter Daly. To Callus, because the select board offered him a 50 cent raise. Oh, wow, they took him away. Yeah, that, mm, I'm being taped. Mm -hmm. So Callus offered him more, like $3 more an hour, 
and like a $2,500 a $2, sign-on bonus. And we offered him a 50 cent raise. And we lost a very, 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 very smart worker. Yeah, these are all fix my roads, fix Woodbury, ac Woodbury access, fix my roads. The rope is awful. It's full of potholes. The potholes are everywhere, and I mean everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> They just sell that Route 14. All right. Which All right. I think they're doing, but... I think Harvick way they're doing. Because I never go that way, and I've been hearing all kinds of complaints. I'm like, they're fixing roads that didn't have bottles. I think. <laughs> <laughs> go figure. Yeah, so just going back to some of the things that Katie said, but like, for example, about the pavilion. If the pavilion will be erected on the school property, then the school should agree to own it, insure it, and maintain it. The, the, the town could make a payment to the school for the purposes of erecting the pavilion. So that's how that would work. You're going to write up these things so that they yeah. can the applications? Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Yeah, that sounds like um, too. The library is the other one. It's asking for ten thousand. Um, it says it's a municipal 10, library. Ten thousand? Yeah, that makes up for the one. several years of missing their pie breakfast. Pie breakfast. Where did where did that application come from? That was one of the ones that came in that Tara had those wow. the, those ones that I couldn't find. Ten thousand? Yeah. Although, yeah, having served on library board. Pie breakfast makes a good chunk of change for them. Wow. So ten grand sounds like a lot, but that probably isn't enough. Because a pie breakfast is a wicked good fundraiser. Yeah. It's a great fundraiser. So it says if the library is a department of the because I had to do some digging into finding out how the, how the library works, like who where who owns the library, you know? It says the, I found out the library is asking for ten thousand. It's a municipal library. The trustees and library directors run the fundraisers. And she wrote, if the library is a department of the town, then this would fall into the town projects bucket. So I don't know if it is a department of the town. It is. But yeah. Because we vote, we vote for who's the library trustee, so it's, it's right. part of the town. Right. Okay. So that the town, bu the town projects bucket is like an easy one. So we don't have to really worry about that. Um, But this is this is the kind I'm just going to give you a, just a type of answer that make, leaves me like, hmm, I'm not. There's so much I don't know that like it's all very exposed in this. <laughs> it says regarding the application in which uh, this is my question. The person asked for private contractor to work on stormwater issue. I'm not sure if this is her land or is part of the town road. What are the implications either way? So that was my question. She wrote, if it is in the town's right of way, then it would be a town project and the town would contract the work. If it is on private land, then it becomes a bit more complicated and the town would want to know more information. I don't know if Woodbury has permitting requirements for stormwater or if this is a project would involve state stormwater permitting. Additionally, if you do this for one property owner, then you may want to consider the precedent you are setting around mm -hmm. the town funding stormwater projects on private land. It gets complicated quickly. So I guess I do oh, kind of understand what she's doing. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, self-explanatory. Yes, because remember when they redid the road and the dude up and was all mad? This is not the first time this has been asked. <clears throat> Well, and I think you're gonna. I, mm, well, if you've got the town to doing that. things, it dumps water on your land. That's a problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think that was all the applications. Let me just do a quick rundown because I feel like we just, uh, other than the fire department, I feel like we have answers to most of them. Mm -hmm. um, and then I guess we just need to vote on like, are we all in agreement that um, these ones that are just like fix the potholes get put into one group and say like, interesting information. Road, 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 road. And if they, if the roads crew wants to take that and say, "Hey, look at all the people that want money for the roads," then they should know that those exist. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that premium pay for essential workers. 
was submitted by Judith Manning. Yep, yeah, that that's another one that like easy peasy. Good idea, but it it's not an application because there's so there needs to be an entity that the money goes to. Right, right, right. And so and I think that the the fire department has already asked for all that they want. Yeah. Right? So yay, Judith for you know supporting that, but yeah, but, yeah, that's be that's already taken care of. And there's a whole lot of road is off, road is off, we'll resurface, take care of my potholes, run any pickleball. So what did you want a vote on? So that we, that what, basically what I was saying about the feedback that to give folks is okay, like for all, all the ones I went through, you know, the, the friends of WES, that's got to go through the schools. The um, And then, you know, I don't know about CV Fiber, she didn't comment on that. Um, you know, just basically what I just said about all of the, um, I guess that we need to put it into a statement to have a, a vote on it, but, um, are, are, I guess, are we all in agreement that, um, that we can provide some feedback on these applications and then send them forward to the select board once we've gotten the feedback that we're looking for. And I think in terms of the fire department, I think, I really think we all agree that the fire department needs to get some money. Right. Um, and so mm -hmm. my goal is just to like, let's just like bridge that gap so that it's easy for the select board to understand how to do that. And for Brandy to, cause Brandy's busy enough that trying mm -hmm. to figure out, um, Tara sent a lot of really interesting questions and to Katie. Does. Um, and she has that town clerk's office hat that she wears that she understands a certain aspects of it that, um, that I don't understand necessarily, but, um, I don't feel like we got all of the, her questions clarified, so I'd like to just kind of check back in with her. And so, so you want the, the the board, the three of us here, to go ahead and make a motion that you go ahead and get all these pieces together, mm -hmm. so that including you know the fire department, all of them into their piles with their needed notes and stuff mm -hmm. from us. Yeah. Well, let's see. I would make a motion that. Laura, go ahead and write this up. <laughs> <laughs> and then hand it in, hopefully soon. Yes. To that. Second in. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. All right. So that's, yeah. we're actually, as, it actually was helpful to go through this with you guys because I realized we're closer than, mm -hmm. I was I, I was feeling a little bit like, geez, we're not that close, but we're very close. Mm -hmm. the, the last question is really the fire department and yeah. then we're ready yeah. to go. Yeah. Um, so we need to vote. Okay. You just made the motion. And you just seconded it. I seconded it. Any discussion? Any against? All four? Aye. Aye. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so the other Although thing. We're doing this and nobody's taking notes. Nobody's I, taking I can go home and do a death. Do it. So I'll do five sentences. I, I promise I won't give you feedback. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and write something up. Okay. Um, so the next thing is I just wanted you guys to see my chart because I've changed it a little bit, not that much. Um, so this is a chart of the survey results. Mm -hmm. So the one you emailed, you've changed since. The one that I showed you guys the last. Oh no, that, that what I email. I did email it to yes, you guys. Yes, you did. Email okay. It much nicer. Okay. Much more format. Okay. Yes, yes, good. Yes, I saw. <laughs> I did a little bit of like work on it and just <laughs> labeled things so you sort of understand. And then the yeah. blurb kind of explained what. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to read that blurb to you? It's very short, but. Nope. So hold on. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> So it just goes over what the American Rescue Plan Act is. We've put that in other things that we've talked about, so you've already agreed on that. And then it says the Woodbury ARPA Committee distributed a survey to the residents of Woodbury to assess their preference to the, for the utilization of ARPA funds. The survey asked residents to rank from 1 to 10 for most to least preferred, 13 potential projects for which ARPA funds could be spent. The survey was mailed to all taxpaying residents and also, was also available on the town of Woodbury website. The ARPA Committee received 51 completed surveys. That's it? <clears throat> I thought it was pretty good. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Vertically, the chart lists. Put your cell phone. <laughs> Vertically, the chart lists potential arbor projects in the order that they appeared on the survey. Horizontally, the chart indicates the number of people who ranked a project given project in their top one to ten. For example, the funding project of broadband fell in 38 people's top one to 10 preferred projects. Nine people ranked it as their first choice, four people as their second, seven people as their third, etc. The last col column shows that 20 people ranked broadband in their top one to three areas to spend ARPA funds. Please find the attached copy of the survey. And then Beautiful. this is, and then it just, this is 
you've already seen the results, and I just would bear up a survey, yeah. number of votes, and then added potential projects, and that's it. So Beautiful. just want to give get the okay to post that. Yeah, please do. Yes. So I was going to post that before sending along this to the select board just in case I just put it on the Woodbury website in case yeah. people just want to look at it like I got a message from Diana Peduzzi saying like when are the results going to come out I'm interested in them yeah maybe so them out. okay yeah do it so that was it to get that was those were the two things I want to do over this and that and that's it okay. beautiful anything else Go for it. yeah so that, we're almost there we're almost there so are we meeting again or are we good um we well, Oh, yeah. Might um, be a good idea to meet one more time before we send it off. Yeah, maybe we could make it like a party. We could. Send cookies, but no cookies. Only oh, no, I can't Just kale. Cookies. Just kale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with open kale. Kale tears. party is good for me. I like a kale party. Uh, so then we, in a week, it will be... Be in a freaking June. So our, our next scheduled visit, uh, visit meeting would be the first of... First June. Wednesday of June, which is, which is coming June first. Right that yeah. would be too is it soon. Next week? And then the following week, I'll be in New Hampshire, house sitting. Nice. In a cabin. No, next Wednesday is June first, so it's the following. <sighs> you just had to get that in. Oh wait, no, you're right. right. Yourself part. You just had to get that in there. Whatever. I uh, missed it. What'd she get oh, in? Oh, she gets to go. Mm, I'm going by myself in a cabin. It's Ooh. my daughter's cabin. Nice. You know, going to Illinois to visit family. It's quiet. Family. Quiet. Quiet. Oh, there's two dogs, but yeah, yeah. quiet. <laughs> oh, I'll take dog company. That yeah. sounds nice. I'll just do some cooking. While I was there. <laughs> <clears throat> so our next would be Wednesday the first. Yeah. You want to move to Wednesday the eighth or Wednesday the fifteenth? The fifteenth would be the next one I could make. All but right. that's like three weeks out, dude. Well, I'm gonna still. I'm gonna get this out. Okay. I'm okay. not gonna wait till then okay, to get good. this out. Okay. If that's okay. Okay. I mean the, the application. Yeah. Yeah. The, the this stuff to that the select just, board. Yes. We're yeah. done. So you get the fire department piece and then just. Yeah. yeah I'd like to. I mean, maybe yeah. that won't happen before the fifteenth. But I'm 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 calling Katie every day right yeah. now, trying okay. to get the pieces together. And the next time the select board meets, so they met on the twenty third. I think the next time they meet is the sixth. So maybe if I give her some advance notice, Katie could join by zoom mm -hmm. to the sixth meeting with maybe you know paul and those guys could be there um chance yeah Payette. you can get it done yeah go for it on the sixth yeah. and then by the 15th yeah. we can okay. say we're then maybe by the 15th we can just say like the last okay on everything and send it off so then we can okay. tell everyone that before the end of june all of this stuff will be submitted to them and okay. they can make their funding um, and I mean, I know there's everybody's in a hurry to get the money. I don't want to hold it back at all. Okay, um, that works you know, there's the, that makes the pavilion people. I'm sure want to start building because it's nice weather, or whatever. And people, and the fire department needs the money. So, yeah, um, sounds like a good plan. Super to aware that we need to move it along, but uh, stayed alive long enough for me to put it in with a reminder. So I will call and tell them I'm keeping this key for another little while. I told him I was going to drop his key off tomorrow. I don't think I missed any of the applications. I think that's it. So, all right. Meeting adjourned. How oh, exciting, yeah. Yeah. Meeting adjourned. Thank you very much, sir. Meeting adjourned at 7.35.